How's it going, peeps? I hope you're all having a great 4th of July weekend. Thank you for choosing to check out this video. Today, we're going to take a look at a small group of villains that are not very well known. Word on the street is, they'll pop up in the She-Hulk series. So let's get acquainted with them and find out who is the Wrecking Crew. A small-time burglar whose choice weapon was a crowbar broke into a hotel room. The occupant happened to be Loki, who had just requested mystical powers from Camilla, the Norn Queen. The burglar, Dirk Garthwaite, accidentally got the powers and turned into the villain Wrecker. The Wrecker ended up battling Thor, and during the battle, he hit an electrified subway rail, causing the mystical powers to be transferred out of him and into his trademark crowbar. He was defeated and imprisoned by Thor. He made friends with fellow inmates Elliot Franklin, Brian Kaluski, and Henry Camp. They concocted a plan to break out and get Dirk's crowbar. After obtaining the crowbar, they went out into an electrical storm and each grasped the crowbar. It was struck by lightning and transferred a portion of Wrecker's powers to each of his friends. Franklin became Thunderball, Camp became Bulldozer, and Kaluski Piledriver. As a group, they formed the Wrecking Crew. All four members have superhuman strength and a high level of invulnerability. Each has a distinct weapon they have chosen to fight with. Wrecker has his crowbar. Thunderball uses a ball and chain. Bulldozer has a specially made armored helmet, neck, and shoulder apparatus he uses to ram opponents. And Piledriver has oversized hands that are stronger than the rest of the group. The crew learned that Thunderball had previously built a gamma bomb that was now property of Richmond Enterprises. They went to get a hold of the bomb so they could hold New York ransom. While they were tearing through Richmond Enterprises, the Defenders showed up and defeated the Wrecking Crew. Each member of the crew was sent to a separate prison. Wrecker broke out and then freed the rest of the crew. Shortly after, the crew was bested by Thor and sent back to prison. Thunderball escaped prison and got a hold of Wrecker's crowbar and went solo for a bit. He was then defeated by Spider-Man and found himself back in prison. The crew was transported to Battleworld by the Beyonder, where they sided with Doctor Doom against the heroes. Returning to Earth after Battleworld, they participated in an assault on the Avengers' mansion, where Thor used his hammer to strip the crew of their powers and send all the power back into the crowbar. But as the cycle goes, Wrecker escaped, retrieved the crowbar, freed the crew, and restored their powers. The crew went on to have encounters with the Runaways, Toxin, and the new Avengers. The new Avengers defeated them, and they were imprisoned on the raft. They were forced to work for Zemo's Thunderbolts until they were able to escape. The group stayed together, although there was a distrust between Wrecker and Thunderball. Thunderball had challenged for leadership of the group a few times. Due to the Superhuman Registration Act, the group hit Canada. They encountered Sasquatch and beat him mercilessly, and then tortured him. They made their way to Toronto, where they encountered Alpha Flight and were defeated and imprisoned. I bet you guessed it. They escaped. And then they went back to the U.S. and joined the Hood's army of supervillains. They assisted the villains and heroes to defeat the Scroll during the Scroll invasion. What do you think about the Wrecking Crew? Will they be a good addition to the She-Hulk series? As always, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to stop by the channel and check out my videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you again real soon. I'm out. Peace.